Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd. The fact that Thanksgiving is like three weeks away is crazy, bonkers. I cannot fathom how it is already November and it's almost 2022. Like 2021, I feel like was the fastest year. Anyway, do any of you feel like that? Am I crazy? I feel like 2021 just, pew, I have been filming so many workouts and so many exercises for my new fit plan program and just for some other stuff. So I just feel like this camera has been constantly being used for that. And I just like have not had the will power to just pick it up and vlog because I've just been filming other things nonstop. I want to vlog today, so we are going to record some audio for my new fit plan program. So basically just cues like keep your core engaged, things like that. So I have to do that for every single exercise. So I'll be doing that for a while. I have been feeling not great about myself lately. And I'm not, I'm not saying that for pity or for compliments, anything like that. I just the fucking honest truth. I was going through some really crazy stuff with my skin over the past couple of months, really just in this area, like along my jaw and even like down here, which had never happened to me before. And I know I mentioned in a recent video that I was kind of like in the market for new skincare because nothing was working for me. It was just like my pores just felt really clogged and gross and uh, so I just was like not feeling myself because even when I put makeup on it was just like texture everywhere and it was just making me feel so not great about myself and I've struggled with my skin a little bit since literally like 10th grade not a little bit like quite a bit <laughs> since like 10th grade and it's never really been like acne, but it's just like a lot of texture, little bumps, like clogged pores and things like that, that you really don't notice unless you're up close. So I started using, and this is not sponsored. I literally just, I was like, what the, why not? You know, why not try it? So I started using Curology and I know a lot of people have had great successes with Curology and I know some people hate it. So. I decided to just give it a try because I was like, it can't get w much worse than how I was already feeling. So I did the little like 30 day trial thing. They just send you the mini ones and they give you like a custom formula and you like take pictures of your skin and you send them to Curology or whatever. You only pay like for shipping, I think, for the first little trial thing. So um, I was like, why not? If I don't get the results that I'm looking for, I can just like stop it. And I actually ended up buying the full size products of everything that I got. It was just a cleanser, a like custom moisturizer, and then just like a day and night. Or like a, I don't know, I don't know. It's a cleanser, a custom formula that's like a mixture of three different things, and then just like an everyday moisturizer for a day and night. I've actually really enjoyed the results so far. A lot of this has cleared up and I know this stupid camera puts like a filter on my face, but I'm gonna insert pictures right here of what my skin looked like before. We're just gonna be vulnerable here because I know so many of us struggle with our skin and I would hate for you guys to think that I have perfect skin just because of this stupid filter and like because of makeup and I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> Instagram, I'm like always done up and wearing makeup and looking pretty and stuff and YouTube is just kind of where I'm like Fuck it. I don't care. I will show you guys everything. So <laughs> just like kind of show you what my issues were It's really obvious, but My skin has actually improved quite a bit since using Curology and I want to say this as much as possible This is not sponsored. They have no idea I exist. I didn't reach out to anybody. I just wanted to try it because I had heard some good things, so I was like, my skin has actually really improved just the texture, just feeling it and seeing it. I'm gonna do like a before and after of my skin after a few more weeks, like some pictures, because I want, I'm still kind of early in the Curology phase, they say, to give it like a few months, and I've probably been using it for about six, six weeks, maybe, maybe a little more more than a month so 
I'm happy with it. I'm gonna continue to use it until, or like just see it through and see like the changes in my skin over time. But also, I recently, and I don't know if this has anything to do with the Curology stuff, but I have had itchy, dry, flaky eyelids and under eyes for the past like, I don't even know, maybe two weeks. So at first, when I was using the Curology, I was kind of just like washing my face, you know, like usual. And I was making sure not to do the custom formula around my eyes because just like I wouldn't do that if I was using a retinol or anything like that because it's like kind of harsh and the skin around your eyes is like really delicate. So I wasn't putting anything on my eyes directly. I didn't get an eye cream with Curology or anything and I don't even put the moisturizer on my eyes. I kind of just use like my own eye cream that I've been using for months and months and months. So I don't know what's going on and I don't know if you guys can tell. You can see some of the redness I feel like. Um, it's actually gotten to the point where it's just now getting a little bit better and I've just been using Aquaphor on my eyelids Just like lathering it around my eyes. So if my eyes look like shiny, that's why But they have been just like itchy and red and flaky and dry and it has been the most uncomfortable thing And I don't know what to attribute it to And I feel like it's just now getting better. So I don't know if it was like the cleanser, but the cleansers doing great things for my skin. So I would be shocked if it was just doing that to my immediate eye area, I don't know. But I have just been avoiding everything in my eye area. I was also using the lash serum, but again, I used that in the past for like months, so I don't know. But I just like stopped using everything in my immediate eye area besides Aquaphor and I feel like that's actually been helping, but super weird. So I've really just been feeling kind of just ugly lately to be completely honest. There are times where I'll be like, ooh, I feel, I feel good, I feel pretty, I feel like hot. So I know when I'm feeling good about myself and when I'm not. And it's okay to like not always feel like your best, you know? We all have our ugly days and that's totally fine and I'm trying to just like be nice to myself in the process, but it's been just weird. Like this thing with my eyes I've never experienced before and like my actual eyes are fine. Like I wear contacts, I have horrible vision, but my eyes themselves are fine. It's literally just the skin around my eyes, which is so weird. So I like haven't been using concealer or any like eyeshadow and I've just been kind of like doing a little bit of mascara just to like make myself look awake and alive. <laughs> I will keep you guys posted on the Curology stuff for sure if you're interested especially because I kind of just went for it without like obviously I was like reading reviews and I've seen some other girls online like talk about it in the past and I asked one of my friends who had used it. So if you guys are interested I could do like a full video of like the things I was using before and like versus now and I was also doing a lot of like googling my skincare ingredients and seeing like what was good and what I maybe needed to just like throw away. They have those websites where you can like basically search your product and it'll tell you like ingredients that are good, bad, you know, like for certain skin types and things like that. So it's really interesting. Skincare to me is just like fascinating and I love it. I was just really striking out for a long time finding products that were working for my skin. So hopefully the Curology continues to work. So I've just been using, I've really simplified my routine and I think that's maybe what I needed to do because I was just kind of using a bunch of random stuff and Oh, I don't know. So I'm really just using a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen during the day, and then cleanser, custom formula, moisturizer at night. That's the tea. That's where we're at. Let me know if you guys have tried Curology. If you've had a good experience, bad experience, I don't care. Let me know. I'm open to hearing all of your stories. I just kind of wanted to chat get that off my chest because I honestly wasn't picking up the camera for a while too because I was like I feel so ugly I feel like I can't vlog because I just don't feel myself you know like I don't feel confident and that's a shitty feeling and it makes you just kind of want to like crawl up and go to bed and I don't know just it's not fun so but I figure we all go through it so I might as well talk about it because nobody's perfect nobody's hot and sexy all the time. <laughs> I also washed all my makeup brushes just to be safe 
and I threw away some like older products so I don't know I'm kind of just doing like process of elimination here I know I need to like chug some water um, that's one of my November goals is to drink more water because I can like me and me and her we get along so great but then it'll be like one o'clock and I'm like damn I have not had enough coffee today or <laughs> I've not had enough water today so I'm gonna train I think I'm gonna do back with a little bit of chest as well and I think I'm gonna film that so I'll post the full workout here as well sets reps all the things that's what's going on with me I have not trained or done cardio yet today Last night we did a live shoulders, triceps, and abs session, and my triceps are so freaking sore, dumbbell only. If you guys have not tried my live workouts, I obviously am biased, but they are so fun, they are so challenging, and they're dumbbell only workouts. So if you think you can't get an intense workout with only dumbbells, I challenge you to try one of my home live workouts. They're so much fun. They really motivate you to just like go that extra mile and get that extra rep. And I just like love being your hype woman. If you haven't tried any of my live workouts, um, the link is in my bio, lftraining.co. And you just go to the offerings page and my entire November training schedule is up. So all the opportunities that we have to train together in November Live workouts are always dumbbell only or body weight. So we do upper body, lower body, and hit pretty much every week. So check it out. Just sign up for one. Dip your toes in the water and let me know how it is because I know for a fact that these workouts are effective. They're quick, 45 minutes. We do warm-ups in the beginning. We do abs at the end. They are really just full circle, incredible workouts. And I do say that with confidence because I put my heart and soul into creating workouts that are effective for you guys and that you enjoy as well and that are also challenging. So that's really just always my main goal. I want you guys to enjoy your workouts, but I want them to, I want you to feel accomplished afterwards as well. And I always feel accomplished after our live workouts. And I know you guys do too, those of you that have joined already. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know and working out with you guys literally is my favorite thing. I look forward to it and they're just so much fun. So with that being said, I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning around the house before I get into these audios and I will see you guys soon. We are getting ready to train. I'm going to film it. We're going to pick a gym outfit and then start warming up and we'll get into it. Okay, this is the outfit that we went with for today's training session. I have on the white TLF Tempo sports bra, and I forget the exact color, but these are the React seamless, like purple-ish leggings. So, we're gonna have a good session, baby. Let's go. I'm so freaking sore from last night, but chest and back, let's get it. Wow, hi, you so snuggly. Pre-workout time. It is cold in this house. It's already almost time for the heat to go on. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Okay, so, hold on, you gotta see this. Tell me. You've been with Eva Jen for a long time and you're obsessed without actually telling me and there's more back there. We're gonna mix up some pre, so I will take this guy. I love that this fridge shows how many ounces. Pre-workout choice of the day is, da -da -da -da. yeah, I know. AVP 3D from Eva Jen Nutrition, non-stim. I already had my coffee this morning, so I'm gonna go caffeine-free for my pre-workout. This is still gonna give me the pump and the focus and just like the mental clarity that I need to zone in to this workout. So I'm using raspberry lemonade flavor, which is so delicious. It's perfect. So I'm gonna do one full scoop into that 14 ounces of water. Sip on this while I warm up and then we will get into the workout. Mmm. My phone screen just went half black like from that apple down and then turned itself off. It's iPhone 12, it's not even old. 
Not good, not good. This is the aftermath of last night's live workout, my dumbbell graveyard. I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna get started. pull down on my phone as well and let me just show you what happened just have a little look my freaking shoe these shoes look at these they're like heavy duty I guess this little thing got this little space got caught in the row um, so took a tumble <laughs> 